Hi Jules, in this tutorial we're going to be doing the ripple stitch. Uh, what I've learned in the past it is that sometimes when you get to tricky patterns it makes it a little bit easier if you try and draw your pattern before the time just to get an idea on what you're going to be doing. It isn't always successful when you try to draw it out of your head but with experience it does become a little bit easier. So how the ripple stitch basically works is you work in sets of a certain number and you need to continue in those sets for your project to look the way you want it to look. So to explain this just roughly and you can do this in any amount I just kind of did the amounts that I was working with lately. So on a 13 chain you will basically keep on chaining in sets of 13. So it'll be 13, 26, 39 until you get the desired length that you want. Um, then what you basically do is you take 3 off the 13 and you divide it in half which will be then give you 5. So how it will work is you'll start off with 2 over here and then you're going to have 5 in the middle chaining upwards and then this is the one of the ones that you took away from your 13 and you're going to be doing three uh, single crochets or half double crochets or whatever you decide to do into this top one over there so this is one two three four five six and then seven eight nine ten and eleven will then be single crochets half double crochets whatever you decide to do and then the bottom two over here you're going to be crocheting together so that will then give you 13. You start off your chain with two extra ones um, sorry three extra ones and you end off your chain with four extra ones here at the end. Okay so then in your 19 chain you're basically going to take 3 off 19 which then gives you 16 because you want 1, 2 here and 1 at the bottom that's 3 and then 16 divided by 2 is going to give you 8 so you're going to be going 8 up, 1 in the middle, 8 down, 2 at the bottom and then on the 25 you'll take 3 off it will give you 22 so it's going to be 11 up, 1 there, 11 down, 2 at the bottom okay so that's kind of just to give you an idea how this pattern is going to work. So to start off we're going to do, I think we can do the 19 chain. So we're going to work in sets of 19. I'll do three sets of 19. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 so that's your first set of 19 then we'll do a second set of 19 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so that's your second set of 19 and then a third set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 okay and then to come back onto this pattern of ours if we look here we need um, three in the beginning and we need four at the end so that's seven so we're just going to chain an extra seven that's one two three four five 
five, six, seven. Okay, so there is our desired chain. Now it looks very long, but it's not really that long. Okay, so because we're working technically from this side to this side, we're going to start with the first four over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip this one and then into the second chain we're going to be working in the back loop in the first row we're going to do I'm going to do half double crochet I just prefer half double crochet stitch it's of my favorite stitches so we'll do a half double crochet into the second one okay so that is the first two then one two and then just a half double crochet into the next two stitches so that's one two so now we've done the first four stitches of our pattern over here I'm going to fold my paper sorry for any background noise think if I fold my paper and keep the pattern up you'll maybe understand better okay, so there we've now done those first four over here okay now we're going to be working upwards so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight so eight half double crochets in the back post in the next eight posts so that's one two three four five six seven and eight so now we've done the first eight of the uphill over here so to make our curve for it to come downwards we need to make um oh, sorry i see i've made a mistake here on my pattern let me just fix it i'm sorry okay so in the law the next post we're going to do three half double crochets in this very same post so we went eight up and into the ninth one we're going to do three half double crochets uh, you do get different methods of doing this particular pattern but i found that this pattern worked the best for me Think for more advanced crocheters um, the other patterns make more sense okay so now that we've created the curve at the top we're going to come down eight again so eight half double crochets into the next eight stitches so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven. It's only this first round that goes a bit slow because we're crocheting in the back post it takes a bit longer so to just count these are three one two three four five six seven eight okay so now that we are coming to the downhill at the bottom the slope over here we're going to join two stitches together so we're going to skip one two and into the third one we're going to create 
our first half double crochet for our uphill so this will count as the first half double crochet going upwards again so that's number one two three four five six seven and eight so we now passed our first 19 chains it doesn't really look like it and we are halfway through our second set of 19 chains so as we're coming up at the top here again we're going to do three double crochet a uh, half double crochets into the ninth stitch sorry the swirl is just not playing along here okay let's try that again so three half double crochets into stitch number nine three okay and then we need to come down again so we're going to do eight half double crochets in the next eight stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and eight so there we've created the second set of 19 chains then we're going to skip two chains here again at the bottom and start off our first half double crochet for the third chain in the third stitch from that one so that's one two three and eight okay so now that we're at the top again three half double crochets in the ninth stitch so that's one two and three and then for our last downhill another eight half double crochets into the next eight stitches so that's one two three four six seven and eight so that is our last one and then what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat this last little bit just create a little um, 
loop again so we skip two and to the third one we'll just do a half double crochet like that and then again a half double crochet in the last one um, and then that would be your first round of your ripple stitch okay i'm going to take this away because you know i've got an idea of what we're doing so i'm just going to do the second round with you still and then i think you will be able to figure this out okay so now that we're at the end we're going to just ch chain two one two and turn our work around okay and now we're going to do exactly the same that we did but now just kind of in the opposite direction <coughs> so what you want to do is you want to do exactly the same just from this side again so we're going to have one half double crochet into this first one sorry over here then skip two and half double crochet into the next one and that should be the first of your eight half double crochets one two three four five six seven eight yeah so that's right so now just normally into the same stitches that we usually work with you do eight half double crochets until you get to the top again this will go a little bit quicker now so we don't have to concentrate on that back post that should be eight now correct that's one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight that's right eight okay then at the top of the hill again three half double crochets like that and then we go eight downwards again two that you come here to the bottom you need to skip one and two and then into this one will then be one two three four five six seven eight so into I would say over here the yellow one that's what helps a little with the multicolored two three at the top again we're going to do three half double crochets into stitch number nine so stitch number nine one two three and then eight again all the way downwards one two three four five six 
six, seven, eight. Okay, and then skip one, two, and into this one over here. We start off with the first one again one, two, three, four. Up again three this is coming up on the last hill one two and three and then our last eight coming downwards one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then we're going to do two one two and then skip two and into the very last stitch over here a half double crochet and there you have your ripple stitch